Guys, this is TNT Barbecue. I'm out here with a southerner supposed to taste. Hey, you see it there, guys? Today we're doing some chicken for you guys. Some chicken. Burp, 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 burp. And uh, we're going to use some key ingredients. One is parquet, squeeze it. And some Kirby Q rub uh, with a little tit a tat extra for tea. Uh, you know, I always got to put my twist on it. Uh, and guys, look at the hardware, guys, right there. Look at the hardware right there, guys. Yeah, that's for the Greater Jones County Fair. Anybody from Iowa know how big the Jones County Fair is. And uh, here, I was the first person to win the barbecue out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Uh, the barbecue Nubo City Market uh, barbecue back in 2013. Uh, I got a trophy for that, and um, uh, quite I got a lot of different trophies, but always my strongest suit been chicken, and I think it has something to do with the technique I use, and it has something to do with the uh, rub I use. Uh, before I used Curvy Q rub, me and Curvy Q we was kind of had the same kind of taste, but Kirby uh, introduced me to a bold bolder flavors so uh with that being said um let, 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 let's get on and start talking about chicken now the first thing you want to do guys is squeeze this chicken uh squeeze the chicken in a way where uh the chicken can uh be uniform so right here guys my hands been washed i'm gonna squeeze this chicken right here you see i'm gonna grab it here put it over here i'm gonna grab it here I'm a pan right here. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna squeeze it. Okay, you see how I'm squeezing that chicken right there? I'm squeezing this chicken down, and that's creating the skin to be covering that chicken right there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Uh, oops. Almost lost, made a mess, guys. I'm gonna keep squeezing this chicken right here. See, I'm gonna squeeze all those chicken. What I do that for is to get the skin tight. Uh, and you wanna have bite through skin. This is the key, guys. You see it there? You see it there, guys? Okay. You know, um, squeeze that skin tight, okay? See it there, guys, right there? Excuse me, right there. You just squeeze like that tight right there, guys, okay? Okay. And we're going to keep squeezing this chicken right here, okay, guys? We're going to squeeze this chicken. And what we're doing this for, like I say, it helps with the uh, bite through skin. But it also helps it, it cooks uniformly. And it looks better too. So you squeeze that chicken. Uh, bringing the skin. Massaging the skin down over the uh, meat. Protecting the meat. Okay. Replacing it into a pan. The, skin, the chicken has been washed. And what I like to do. Is. Get some of this right here rub. You see it right here guys. You don't see it do you. I get some of this rub. And I go. Just like here, just 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 a little bit like here, guys. Not too much. And I just get it, put it in this pan. And I just shake it like here, guys. I just try to get it all over, guys. The skin that is, okay? Now you may say, T, how is it gonna get in the meat? You're not gonna jack it, you're not gonna do everything. The rub is a ingredient. The smoke is a ingredient. The 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 texture is ingredient. The bite through skin is ingredient. All these are ingredients. The sauce is ingredient. It's not one thing should be overbearing. And I'm telling you guys, if you do all that, um, even the chicken taste is ingredient. Everything, guys, is ingredient. So I got these chickens laid out like right here, so guys, okay. So what I do is I get some of the squeezable butter right here. Parquet. I don't know if parquet butter. And I just go over like here. I just go like here, guys. Okay. And let's talk a little bit, guys. Okay, let's talk a little bit. Okay. I um I I I would then cover the uh, chicken with luma foil with the butter in the pan and I normally have between 15 to 20 pieces of chicken 
scraping the skin, all that kind of stuff, guys. Uh, hey, you could do it. It works for you. You do it. I'm not knocking it. I never knock anybody doing anything. Because what works for you don't work for me. I don't scrape the skin. I do the same thing with the chicken uh, thighs. I squeeze them. I turn them. I get them real tight. And a little bit of meat hang off the edges. And it looks nice and neat. And I just put them together in the pan. I just put the butter. I put the rub on it. Now, you want to wrap that with aluminum foil, guys. Okay? Uh, make sure it's sealed. Put on the smoker for about two, not even two hours, about for an hour and 40 minutes, okay? I'm going to throw this on the smoker. Then I'm going to take it off the smoker. And once I take it off the smoker, I put it back on the smoker and I apply a little bit more rub, a little bit more of that curb And um, I'm going to tell you something, guys. And this is, Kirby is a good brother of mine. Uh, me and him been knowing each other for a long time, and uh, I got a lot of other YouTube friends out there. But uh, I did a lot of reviews, and I did a lot of cooking. And uh, right there, Kirby got some good beef rub, some good pork rub. But right here, right here, this the man right here, in my opinion. This is the man right here. This is this, this is the original Dundella. This is the Kirby Q chicken rub guys I'm telling you guys you out there cooking for your family you out there cooking for your uh friends you need to try you need to uh I think it's Kurt I think it's uh Kirby Q and uh you can hit him up on Facebook or whatever you want to do but you need to hook that up guys I'm telling you the guy got some amazing rubs guys but it's chicken rub uh, you know I'm thrilled about it you know I'm, I'm thrilled and I'm going to be sending my rub out, uh, my pork rub out, my beef rub out to a couple people uh, to do a full review over. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to get these chicken drumsticks on here. But if you follow this, you follow this guy, you will have success. Now, the only thing I will tell you, though. If uh, you got to be careful when it's in this pan, because uh, if you leave it in, the chicken gonna be just smushed. But you put it back on the smoker, the skin gonna be pretty fragile. So you put it back on the smoker, and you let it get that golden crispy brown you look for. Then you wanna glaze it over with barbecue sauce. But guys, instead of showing you, instead of telling you, excuse me, instead of telling you, TNT barbecue gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm going to show you, and guys, like I said, guys, you know, I'm not bragging, I'm not one to brag, guys, but, hardware, guys, right there, they ain't getting these out, they don't just give them out to somebody because they want to be nice, no, guys, that, that, that's people blind judging, seeing, and tasting some incredible stuff. And uh, guys, like I say, guys, uh, you know, uh, Kirby Q, it, it, it's a good rub. I'm not going to sit here, and, but it, it, it's, it's an ingredient. And if you follow these steps, and everything I'm telling you is an ingredient in my book, the rub, the, the way you smoke them, the technique, all them ingredients. If you can follow this method, guys, you will have some competition, chicken, and whether you use a Weber Smoky Mountain, a Kettle Grill, uh, a Kmart Special, or a Master Bill Electric Smoker, or a Cajun Ejector Electric Smoker, or a Bradley, whatever you decide to use, you can have some awesome barbecue. It's just keep your temperature consistent. Know your smoker. Know your meat. This is TNT Barbecue, what a sun is supposed to taste. We out of here. But I'll be back with you when we get to the grill. God bless you. God bless America. We're coming back at you with some barbecue chicken. Bye-bye. Guys, this is TNT Barbecue right here. And like I said, guys, look. I got the pan and the master bill smoker. I got the chicken wrapped up. Uh, guys, let me tell you something, guys. Uh... Uh, you know, right now you got to worry about too much smoke because you're not going to get enough smoke because it's in the pan. And what you need to do, guys, is, uh, 
you want to set your temperature high as you can get uh, preferably I try to get around 300 degrees uh, 300 degrees is a good temperature for some smoke so you want to get some good smoke uh, not, not smoke excuse me but you want to get this uh, you want to get this steaming. You want to get this steaming, guys. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to get this master build smoker steaming hot. 270. Uh, I believe the temperature is set at 270. And once you get this master build steaming hot, guys, you want to let it go for about an hour and 30 minutes, hour and 40 minutes. But uh, while you're doing it, guys, just uh, make sure you don't overcook the chicken. Uh, like I said, guys, a good hour. And, you know, basically the skin renders down with the fat and the butter. And I like to get a mop and just mop over the chicken a little bit more with the butter and the drippings off the chicken. It gets a golden brown, and the, and the skin is already rendered out a little fat, a lot of fat actually off, off the under the skin. So that's why I don't have to do too much scraping when I uh, do my competition. And you like I say, and then you want to fish it up with some smoke. You want to put some smoke on it. They say it, as it, as it get to a certain temperature, it stop accepting smoke. Uh, I never had that issue. I don't know. I just never had that issue. Uh, like I say, guys, I've been doing this for quite a bit. So uh, you know, uh, one thing about this Master Bill electric smoker, guys, I always got to give a shout for Master Bill. It, it earned its weight in gold. I love the barbecue year round. I have um, stick burners. I have uh, uh, indirect. I had direct smokers, indirect smokers, bike flow smokers. I have um, vertical smokers. But guys, I find myself using this bay right here. It, 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 it's keeping temperatures doing pretty good. It's easy to use. It, it, look at that, guys. Look at it. I'm leaning on it. Insulated. It, it's cold. It's not cold. It's about 35 degrees in Iowa, guys. Believe it or not. Thumbs up for that. Um, I've been hunting all day. Um, like I said, guys, uh, came home from a hunt. Um, didn't didn't see anything. It they seen me and I seen them run. That's about it. But besides the point, guys, if you follow these simple directions, you will have some outstanding chicken guys and the master bill vertical smoker whatever you want just follow these directions and know your grill guys know it and uh this is tnt barbecue what a southern supposed to taste god bless you and god bless america we out of here peace guys this is tnt barbecue what a southern supposed to taste i'm done with the final uh cook I left some chicken. Uh, I didn't sauce these chickens right here because uh, a couple of my kids don't like barbecue sauce, so I didn't sauce those chicken. And uh, here we go, guys. Right there, guys. You said that, guys? Do you see what I'm seeing, guys? Like I said, guys, instead of talking about it, I want to show you. Yeah, I want to show you, guys. I want to show you uh, what we talking about when it comes to... Um, TNT barbecue chicken guys as you can see guys um, the glaze on this chicken is quite awesome guys I uh, did what I usually saw the pan video I placed it in the smoker after it was placed in the smoker it was um, with a little more pull over for an hour and some change uh, and after that guys it was um took it out very gently because like I said the skin is very tender and I smoked it for another hour glazed it for about 20 minutes and guys you see that chicken guys it's like it cooked in the oven so uh, let me try a piece guys for you and let's see what we working with okay oh uh, 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 right there. hey 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 let's try that piece right there that's hot that's hot oh you know, when I say it's hot, guys, that's hot. I got bear claw hands. That's hot, guys. Right there, let me see.
guy. It's that skin with some teeth marks. You see the, all the skin still on the side of it? That's bite through skin. Boom! Show you better than I can tell you. God, I'm telling you guys. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. God, that is some awesome chicken. And guys, I'm not going to sit here and brag about it, but let me tell you something. I put that chicken against anybody. And let me tell you something, guys. Right there. You render that skin. I think you through rendering the skin. You put it back on there and let it smoke. And guys, you will have some juicy, moist chicken. And there go the chicken right there without the sauce right there, you guys. You see? It don't have no sauce on it. You see that? There ain't no sauce. I want to show you guys something, guys. Um, I want to show you something. Look at that, guys. But look, watch this. You see that? You see how I just broke that skin open like that? You see that skin? How I just broke it open like that? See that skin is um so tender. And look how juicy this meat is. And you still see the little pinkness. And look at how moist that is. Look at how moist. Guys. Everything's the green. You can taste the smoke. You can taste the TNT Curvy Q rub. <laughs> I'm just playing. You can taste the Curvy Q rub. Guys, I'm telling you, give us a try. You know, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, when you get a chance, go over to uh, Curvy Q. Barbecue, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to, um, uh, I think it's No Hippie Barbecue. Subscribe to uh, Joe over in Coastal Southern Cooking. Subscribe to K Ray, my boy Ray Mac. And guys, y'all go to my, um, the ones I subscribe to. I love guns and I love barbecue. So I'm not big thrill with showing everybody my guns because, you know, I don't want nobody to see what I got up in this his house. But uh, I'm pretty thrilled in showing you all the tricks of the trade, guys. So um, TNT Barbecue with a Southern Explosive Taste, guys. God bless you. God bless America. And um, if you're not doing nothing tonight, say a special prayer for our troops over in Afghanistan. Pray for them guys. Uh, pray that they make it on back and pray for their families because it's hard being away from your wives and your husbands and over there fighting a the war. So pray for our troops, guys. Like I said again, God bless y'all and God bless America. And this is it, guys. TNT Barbecue. Holla at me. <laughs>